everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we are taking a look at something that I don't think I've seen on the internet just yet. So I'm really happy to bring this to you. We're going to be comparing the 48 volt Z turn from Ryobi to the 80 volt Z turn from Ryobi. This is the older version, this is the newer version. We're going to be going over the differences of them and all the amenities and accessories. And then we're actually going to go over the performance and how they can actually motor your yard, the benefits and some differences that are between these two and maybe this will help your decision if you're in the market for one of these so stick around let's get started okay let's start out with the biggest differences between these two and that is the battery type in the 48 volt 100 amp z turn this is the older one this actually comes with flooded lead acid batteries so these are typical batteries but they've been proven over time very strong very reliable so I think that this is great for that, but one thing that you need to know about flooded lead acid is that even though it has an 100 amps, it's really only good for 50 amps because after 50% depletion of the batteries, you actually lose performance out of the batteries and they really stop to work. This is the charging port for it right here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the new Z-Turn 80 volt. So if we press these up, these are actually 80 volt uh, lithium ion batteries. They're suitcase batteries. Um, these are great. You have room for another battery here. And then you have room for another battery here. Now the biggest thing about this is that these are 10 amp hour batteries right here. You have room for a third one. So that's 20 amps and it comes with two uh, 12 amps right here. So that's 24. Uh, so that's 44 amp hours at 80 volts. Um, I put an extra battery in here. You do have room for another 10 amp hour battery over there. So that gives you extra capacity. But the big thing about this right now is that you can use 100% of lithium ion batteries. The charging port is right down here. Another big difference between these two is that lead acid is almost double the weight of lithium. So this mower is a lot heavier than that one. For the 48 volt, the chute is typical hard plastic. This is something that you would see on any type of mower. It does have a spring on it. For the 80 volt, this is actually really heavy rubber, half inch rubber on here. So it has a lot of flexibility and it still has the spring. The 48 volt has a very rigid seat. There is no suspension. The 80 volt actually has a seat that has suspension under it. And the suspension is adjustable here depending on how comfortable you are. They both, can go back and forth depending on how tall you are or what your comfort level is. Now one other big thing is that you see I actually have armrest on this one. Uh, the 48 volt actually doesn't have that but the armrests go all the way up if I don't want them and then you can have all the freedom you want. Now as I'm actually sitting here let's talk about the seat. This seat is super comfortable. The reason why is because bolstering on both sides that holds you in and this is for your back and your waist then for your legs and your butt Right here, you actually have bolstering here so that it holds you in. And then this is molded to your legs as well. You also have some embroidery that's really nice. So this is pretty aggressive, but it's super comfortable. In fact, this is so comfortable, I could just hang out in it. In fact, I do sometimes just hang out in it in the yard. It's more comfortable than my lawn chairs. On the 48 volt, this seat does have some bolstering. It's just not as aggressive. This is not an uncomfortable seat. Uh, but you have some typical bolstering here. It's a flat surface, a little bit of molding to the legs, but this isn't an uncomfortable seat. Like I said, it is comfortable, just not as comfortable as the 80 volt. The 48 volt has two handles that articulate back and forth, and these handles actually manipulate the two motors and the two wheels in the back respectively, so that as you move one, it goes forward. As you move the other one, it goes forward or it goes back, so vice versa. So. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it is very nice to have. On the 80 volt, you actually have, this is called the iDrive. It's a joystick. It goes up and down. When you press it down, that's in the neutral position. When you pull it up, you're able to articulate and you're able to drive. Now, having an iDrive or a joystick, this is actually very intuitive. So if you've never driven one of these mowers before, it's just forward, back, sideways and you can articulate 360 degree motion as well as you begin to drive one of these mowers this is actually so intuitive it makes it a lot easier so both of them have the same cutting height from one and a half inch to four and a half inch so you can attract and it goes by half inch all the way up 
So you have a lot of abilities to do that. So let's talk about storage. On the 80 volt, they have storage here for um, you know, any types of manuals or ropes or straps or anything that you need, you have extra storage over here. There is also storage in the back right here. You can see this is pretty big down in this area. And then you also have a charging port. This is 5 volt, 1 amp. This is a USB charger. Speaking of chargers, you do have another charger right here. And you have two cell phone holders in there so you can fit whatever you need to in there. And then you can charge them then you can charge in here. You do also have dual cup holders on that side. On the 48 volt, you do have two cup holders over here too. You do have a storage bin right here. There is no charger for it. You do have another uh, storage bin in here, which we're actually using. And then you do have a five amp, uh, I'm sorry, a five volt, one amp USB charger here, so you can charge whatever your device is in there. All right, let's talk controls. Over here, you have your on button, And then you have your lights, light button here that turns the lights on and off. Then you have your low speed drive, and then you have your low speed cut. Now let me explain that to you really quick. With your low speed drive, whenever you're getting used to this or whenever you're articulating within a confined space, you really want that low speed drive because this is pretty quick and you wanna have that control. With your low speed cut, what that's going to do as as you're in your low speed drive, it's gonna cut the grass and save you a little bit of energy from the batteries as well. This turns the blades on, and that turns the blades off. Okay, so on the 80 volt over here, you do have your on and off switch. That's on, that's off. This is your chute, or these are your blades. You pull them up to turn them on, press it down to turn it off. Now, you also have another little button right here. You press that in, and what that does is that actually increases the blade speed to give you a little bit more power in case you have a clog in the chute, that's going to help you to blow that clog out so you don't have to reach down there, turn the blades off, get off and pull the grass out. So on the 80 volt, you actually have a display where it shows you everything you need to know about the mower itself. Here, this is the wheel speed, so you can change your speed, but on this one, you actually have three different speeds, low, medium, and high. And that's really important because when you're on low, that's when you're articulating around a small area. Medium. Um, I would say that's your comfort level with the mower and then high that's if you have a large field or large area you can really just get through it quickly. Um, these are your lights turn those on and off. This actually scrolls through the screens and this shows you your battery life and what your battery levels are. This shows you uh, your blades and your maintenance on this screen then that just shows your level. This is a Bluetooth uh, machine as well so you can get the app and this will show you everything about your mower and how you can actually use it and it gives you the history and it gives you charts and things like that over here this is your blade speed and on this one you have low medium and high as well so these both can accept baggers to go on to it that's not a big deal i don't use those because i like to mulch up my grass and while we're talking about that let's talk about the blades between these two the 80 volt lithium ion it actually has the cross cut which is dual blade so it actually has four blades on this one even though it's only a 42 inch deck so what that does is that allows you to mulch up the grass a lot better, a finer cut so it covers the ground, you get that uh, water retainage, well, your grass is gonna be a little healthier. Now for this one, this has two single blades, which is pretty traditional. I'm not taking away from it, it cuts very, very well. If you watch my previous video on this, I actually cut over a foot tall grass with it and it powered through, this thing was a beast. This does the same thing, it just cuts it up a little bit finer and I think reduces a little bit of the clogs as well. So this one's rated to mow two to three acres, somewhere around there. And that, that's actually really good, especially for a lead acid battery. Now this one is rated to mow three to four acres because of the lithium ion and the amount of capacity power that you're able to pull out of the batteries. Now, this one can go up to four acres as long as you add more batteries. Now that is a big point. If you wanna change these batteries out, it's a big process compared to changing batteries here. This is a very simple, click and pull type of change battery. This is your undoing cables. You have to pull them out. You have to take the seat all the way forward. It's a big process. So how do we charge the units? This is for the 80 volt charger. This is a 14 amp charger at 120 volts. This is kind of like an electric car. You have a whip, you have a plug onto it. This will charge the unit up within three hours and that's all the batteries. So that's awesome. This is a super duper charger, not just a supercharger. 
Um, it has, this is all aluminum inside of here, and these are all of your radiators or fins that keeps it cool because it does pull a lot of power and it charges it really quickly. So that's really nice. This is the charger for the 48 volt. This has a whip on it as well, and you're able to plug it in. Now, this one charges at 7.5 amps at 120 volts, so it does charge slower. Now, one of the big things about this is that you need to leave this on charge when you're not using it um, because that's they always want to keep it charged because it does take a lot longer to charge. In fact, I just charge it overnight, so it's 100%, uh, whereas the other one I can charge it in three hours. So that is a pretty big difference. The lead acid, which is the 48 volt, takes a lot longer, um, and you don't have the capability of charging it in a quick time frame. So what I found whenever we drive and we articulate between the eye drive and between um, the two handles is that whenever we're driving with the two handles when you're going around a really tight radius that you actually do have a little bit more control because you can articulate both wheels back and forth as you see fit whereas where i found the joystick is that it's calculated and depending on where you're moving with it and the position that the joystick is in, that's how the wheels are gonna move, depending on whatever calculation it's actually using in its computer. They both work just fine. Um, it just takes a little bit more time with the joystick because you have to pay attention to the radius of your cut, how close you are to something, and you really gotta take your time. I found that the joystick is also a little bit more sensitive as well, so since it isn't auto-centering, you have to make sure that you take your time, you actually use the brake, um, and then you can still make the cuts just as well. You're just not as quick um, as the older Z-Turn. Another pi big pick of the 80 volt, which I didn't realize I was doing this when I was making the video, is that I was actually taking a drink of my coffee. Um, so you only have to use one hand. So you do, are, you're able to kind of multitask, take, take a drink. You don't, uh, a perk that I've talked about in previous videos, but I didn't realize I was doing it in this one, but you know, it's pretty funny. All right, let's do a race. We're going to get them up to top speed and let's see one, which one is actually faster. Now, the old 48 volt is rated at seven miles an hour and the new 80 volt is rated at eight miles an hour, but practical, let's see who wins. All right, so let's go over the cut quality. Uh, for this one, we're gonna set the camera close to the ground. We're gonna make a few cuts and then you're gonna see just how good that they both cut. Okay, so this is the center line. This is where I put both of the front wheels and I shot both the grass off to each side so they're opposite so you can just see how good the cuts are. So let's dive in here real quick. So whenever I look at the grass, um, you can see this is uh, the same height. So we had them at the same height. Um, you see this did miss some. I think that's uh, due to some of that double cut that you have. Um, over here, it's a lot more uniform. It's a lot more clean. Both of the mowing looks just fine. However, just like I said before, with that double cut, you do have a little bit more even cut because you have twice as many cuts going to the grass. Um, this doesn't look bad. This is pretty normal, but you may have to double cut this depending on how thick the grass is. But All right, so people have asked me, uh, how does this actually handle on hills? So I'm gonna show you how both of these handle going up a hill and then on an angle. So I'll go up first and then we'll come down uh, and then we'll go up at an angle so you can see just how the articulate is on it. As you can see, they both handle really well and that's because the super low center of gravity that they have, the batteries sit right in the middle, the motor sit on the ground, so there really isn't too many traction issues. Um, that's not to say if you get on a really steep slope at an angle, you're not gonna have some, but that's any mower. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. I think that they both are very excellent mowers, especially that they are battery powered. I believe that the 80 volt though has really edged out the 48 volt. One, because of the lithium ion batteries, the runtime, the capabilities, the interchangeable of the batteries. I think also when we talk about the drive systems or how you're able to manipulate the mower, uh, the traditional Z-turn with the two handles. I think the controllability is just a little bit better after 
you get used to it and you and it becomes second nature to you. I think that the iDrive is way more intuitive than <laughs> than the two handles. I mean way more intuitive. I know people that won't even drive these just because of the articulation and, and the manipulation is a little bit harder. Um, the build quality on both of these are absolutely amazing. Um, the welds are all great, the stamped steel, the decks, everything is good. Now, the 80 volt, now that it has you know the flexibility, they've taken cues from the industry, they've done a lot of research on it, they've made it better. They did a lot of research on this one too, but I think this one's a little better. Technology-wise, it has to go to the 80 volt because the fact that you can connect to a phone, the Bluetooth, uh, the trending, everything that you can do with this is awesome. Um, but just as a uh, in general workhorse, this one is awesome as well. I mean, they're both awesome motors. I, I, I keep saying that, but I mean, it is true. Um, my wife actually likes this one a lot better. She uses it every single day in our garden. She's always pulling the wagon around. Um, she's always taking um, everything with her. Now, here's one big thing that probably people don't realize about these mowers. My wife is eight and a half months pregnant right now. So whenever she folds the bars over, they actually hit her belly, so she has to scoot all the way back, but she's only 5'5", five five, so that really pushes her a little bit further back than what she feels is comfortable, but she still likes using this one just because she's mastered the controls. So whereas this mower, there is no problem in front of you, there is no um, obstructions that you're gonna be able to hit. You can take your coffee as well, you can drink your coffee or your drink, your cold, whatever, um, and you don't have to try and manipulate both handles with one hand. Um, so I think in that regard, this is also a lot better mower. So I hope between the tests that you all have seen today, it helps your decision, or if you're not even in the market, maybe this puts you in the market, because you're gonna save a ton. I was using $60 a week in my tractor to mow my yards. Ever since I got these mowers, well, I'm spending uh, no money on gas. I try to solar charge these as well, but that, that that's kind of hard. I still have to plug them in But it's a fraction of the price to charge these from a wall outlet Than it is to spend that much money. So um, I hope that you all enjoyed the video I hope it was informative if it was please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe There's a little bell down in the corner hit that that's notification. So whenever I put out these awesome super duper videos <laughs> Uh, you'll know about them. So thanks everybody. We'll see you in the next video.